So this week I decided to start a new uh, series or playlist called Python Programming and I'm sure you must have heard of uh, Python. It's a, a popular language. Uh, I wouldn't say one of them because it's a top popular language uh, in the software uh, development industry. So, but today I'm going to show you why do we need Python for InfoSec? Like why would you care about if you are If you want to get into the cybersecurity, why would you learn uh, Python, right? Because that's very, uh, we have like uh, uh, different programming languages, we have JavaScript, then, but then why do we uh, care about the Python? So the first thing is uh, a POC. So for example, if you are doing a penetration testing, and let's say you have to generate proof of concept, uh, for that you have to write this POC in some language. If I would choose, let's say C, C++ or Java, it will take me hours or probably a day to write it. Uh, Python, I can do it very easily and very quickly uh, because it's a very high level language. And 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 uh, in, when you when you want to write the POC, uh, what you want to focus on is the business logic, not the nitty gritty of the language. Like, wow, okay, how do we uh, declare this? How do we declare the library, syntax, packages, etc., etc. right? You want to get straight to the point. So it's very rapid in terms of when you want to uh, generate the POC. Uh, the second uh, reason is extensive library support. So Python's been around like since 2000, so almost 20 years now, 21 years. And there, are, there is a lot of libraries and as well as there are tons of tools already written. So, and of course, Python is open source, right? So uh, you have all these tools which you can integrate. You can uh, use those packages to automate your uh, program. So uh, with those reasons, uh, and, and, and one thing I also want to uh, make sure uh, to note that most of the cybersecurity job nowadays requires you to have some skills on the coding. And if you have Python, that, that pretty much meets the bar uh, in terms of you have, uh, if, you can, uh, if you can showcase your Python uh, language or coding skills, uh, you can automate some uh, attacks or uh, like, you know, whatever the process you want to automate in the cybersecurity, you can use it uh, Python for that. So that's the reason for the Python uh, in InfoSec, right? And and now we will learn, uh, like, you know, in the future videos, we'll learn more about Python. So bit, bit of history, as I said, like Python 2.x was uh, in 2000 and 3.x in 2008. But the uh, uh, one bad part is that Python 3.x is not backward compatible. Uh, so if you have written something in 3.x, it, it and you're using something some scripts from 2.x it's gonna fail because uh it's not compatible and uh, i guess now we have a lot of scripts uh, which was written in 2.x now been translated to 3.x so you can start use the three that's totally fine but yeah 2.x was very popular uh, among several developers and uh, this is another reason why I want you to learn Python because Python is the most popular language. Uh, as you can see, like market share is 30%. That's insane. Like just imagine the second uh, rank is Java, which is 17%. Uh, so there's like more than half of a difference. And that's, that's a lot. So you want to, of course, uh, learn the best language, which is very popular as well as uh, it's very helpful in the InfoSec uh, on various aspects. So definitely go for Python. Now, Python, uh, why is so popular? Uh, because of course it's an open source, right? And it's supported by all the operating system as well as mobile operating systems. So you can also have it on Android, iOS, of course, Mac OS, Linux, it comes by default and then you can install on the Windows as well. And as I said, it's, it has the rich set of libraries. There are a lot of uh, uh, libraries already written. So you can uh, use those uh, pre-existing and, and everything is open source. So uh, you can just keep on using those libraries to uh, help your program. Now, what I'm gonna show you is the little demo of uh, how do you write like simple uh, Hello World program in Python. So here is the, our uh, uh, so this is my Linux system, right? Uh, uh, Kali Linux. Uh, you can install the same in the Windows or you can also have it on the Mac OS. Uh, but I just prefer to use this Linux uh, for the demonstration. So how do you, so like, you know, there, there are various ways you can do that. You can also like run Python and then you can say print 
welcome to cyber security tv right and it's gonna print right back to you so this is so uh, it's gonna take the command it's gonna print uh, in the next line all right so now let's say we want to quit you can quit using this command uh, the other way uh, and usually when you are uh, writing a big program you want to create a file uh, so what we will do is hello world and python extension is dot py right so let's do print hello world and then gonna write save so how you want to uh, print or execute or uh, yeah execute the file is you have the uh, python so it's gonna say how to interpret this file and then actual file name right and there you can see we have the hello world now you can also uh, like you know uh, run the file directly or in, uh, execute the file directly rather than having to uh, specify the interpreter every time but right now we don't don't have the permission so let's let's fix that so i'm going to go here and hello world so first off let's add user uh, bin python i think this is the right uh let me just make sure i think yes okay that shouldn't be any space okay and let's give give a uh, full permission to this file okay uh, now wait uh hello world.py ah oh, i missed it okay sorry uh let me fix it uh usr bin bin and i think this is the directory i have oh that should be uh oh, that should be one more forward slash here i think yeah this is it let's try okay there you go so now uh since we have declared so let me explain you what i did here so here uh, we have declared the uh, directory where the python interpreter is so we don't need to declare uh, like you know specify a python uh, interpreter every time now here's the fun uh, funny thing if you want to uh, have comments in the python it also uh, like you know starts with the hash sign this is a comment oh, as well as if you want to define uh, the interpreter it also start with the hash but it's a special character so that's why the, uh, for the interpreter so it knows like this is what i'm going to use to interpret this file however in the rest of the uh, document it's going to interpret as a comment so if you want to see this let's again execute right so that that was a comment so we it didn't cause any issue so yeah that, that was a quick demo about uh, why do you uh, why do you care about python and and why it is so important in the infosec so hopefully that might have make made like you know made, made it clear for you guys if you have any questions yeah feel free to drop it down in the comment section and and any questions uh, i will be happy to answer and do not for, forget to hit the thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys next week bye